Hey guys, do y'all want to come in my clubhouse? Well, too bad, you better watch the bars and y'all better watch all my latest videos. Just get it, you dig? My ass ain't had no cash, I had to go and get a plan that plan with to make me some bands. I never hold it out my hands, do what I do, that's for my fam. He got the nigga, he got spam, but that's not who the fuck I am. Mama say you not a man till you get. Alright y'all, so we basically just like vlogging, but I'm gonna tell y'all a story about why I don't talk to my brother no more. As y'all can see in the title, like, he's not really dead dead, but, um, this is a story time, so I'm just getting back at y'all, I'm gonna get some gas real quick. Blah. That's that heat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Look how ghetto my shit is, bro. This motherfucking shit, I don't know. But every time I have to take that off to get my damn gas. Wow. Always 93. And we just hold it like that. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we finally done with this motherfucking gas. I am lost as fudge. I don't even know where I'm at. I don't know, I just kept on going. Like, it's just, it's one of those days where you just like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Long as we live and break, then we all right. All right, all right. Long as it's high life, then we all right. All right, all right. Cause I love you more than anything. Get the next right on. Don't pass me no rigor. I'm gonna turn it down. Don't pass me no rigor. To get the best shot, you must become the shot. Ugly ass. We in the nature. You see, I went I went to the hospital right now, guys, and motherfucking um It's all blocked off, but I went the other day, so I, I'm gonna show y'all those the view. I went yesterday and this is the view. I'm gonna show y'all right now. Now that y'all done seeing the view, y'all can see me walk through this motherfucking. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Fucking sun in my face and shit. But anyway, um, so I went to the freaking hospital and everything's blocked off, bro. I'm like, oh man. When I went yesterday, I did a video, but I didn't really like how it came out because it was like rainy kind of. So my quality of the camera was kind of off. But anyway, um, so I went right now and it's all blocked off. So I'm here at the trail and it's beautiful out here. It's very peaceful. I'm out here alone. Like, bro, I'm not scared of nobody. Like, bro, if someone runs up on me or something, it's going to be on camera. And I know for sure, like, y'all going to see I'm not a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, you know. I'm a, I, I don't care if someone can see me, you know. But anyway, um... Yeah, let's get started with this story, man. I know y'all like, damn. All right, so I'm gonna put y'all up here real quick. So basically, I, I have brothers, and my brother, uh, I'm gonna call him M or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, my brother M, like I was cool with him for sure. Like every day we would chill, and when we were kids, we used to play toys together, you know, like normal brothers and shit. He used to um, 
Well, actually, he was kind of a dickhead. He used to always beat me up and shit. I used to always run away from him. But that's just like big brother stuff, like like toughening you up, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Let me see what you got here, man. So he was just like, he'll toughen me up and all that, but like, you know, when you're a little brother, you think of it as like, not cool, like, like bullying, you think about it. But it's not bullying, like, I understand now that he was just trying to toughen me up. And shit, it, it really worked. Like him and my cousin taught me how to box, so that's that's that. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know. It's crazy how someone that's your brother could actually like turn on you. Like, so as y'all know, it's bros before hoes, right? It's always bros before hoes, no matter what. And I tell that to myself every day, and I don't care what. What's going on? I just know it's, look, that look like my eyebrow. Damn, young Mike, why'd you drop your eyebrow? Ugly ass. So basically, um, I'm gonna just cut down to the chase. So, I, I, me and my brother, we've been through it all. We've been through CPS. We've been through everything. You know what I'm saying? One day, I get locked up. And I'm doing big time, and this is when I was doing this six to nine months. Not big time, like fed time, but like six to nine months for, for youth is fucking, it's a lot of time if you think about it. it. Like it sucks, and it's like my whole, like my childhood wasted because of my actions, you know? I couldn't live a regular childhood like y'all. I couldn't, like most people, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't go to school all the time. I'm out here, you know, fucking doing my thing and shit, but like at the same time, it's because I, I knew what, what was gonna what the reward was, you know, and the consequences for some of the stuff that I was doing ended up doing all that time. And um, I got out, well, I was in there and I heard, like, I would I would call my girl or whatever, you know what I'm saying, yada yada. Um, long story short, my bro, supposedly, well, yeah, for sure, I, I think so. Um, fuck my girl, bro, so I was like, oh, damn. So. Off rip, I'm like, bros before hoes. But then I'm thinking about it in my head, like, bro, like, we gotta catch a fade, you know what I'm saying? We gotta catch a fade, yada yada. We ended up linking after that or whatever, and we were chilling, you know, we were good again. And, and I followed that code, bros before hoes. Like, that's my bro, you know what I'm saying? That's my brother, brother, my blood. Like, the only way I was thinking, like, I could get him back is if I fuck his, his girl, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga don't got a girl, so. Anyway. Long story short, I put that behind my mind because it's like, it's my bro before any fucking girl. I, 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 like to this day, I still, I still love you, bro, and I still respect you. But like at the same time, uh, I don't know, it's just complicated, you know? For sure, I forgive you, bro. I forgive you no matter what, no matter what you did or done, you know? I forgive you because that's what bros is supposed to do. And I'm here for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for you. But at the same time, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand a couple things. Like, you can't just take advantage of somebody that's in jail, you know? Especially your own blood brother that you fucking know you love, bro. Oh, I thought, I think, I don't know if he loves me, bro. I don't know if you love me, but I'm just like confused because it's like, nigga, we grew up together, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've. You're not even like my homie nigga. You actually is my blood. You know what I'm saying? And I don't got a lot of brothers, bro. And like he's so imagine. You know what I'm saying? What's going on is crazy. That's why I'm making this video. Um, basically, I want you to understand one thing, bro. I want you to understand how I feel about the situation and why I don't hit you up or none of that stuff. You know, because I know I could find you. I know where. And Julie works, you know, I know her shops and shit. But anyway, I fucking, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just chilling one day. I'm in my cell, not in my cell, but I'm fucking in juvenile or whatever. And I, I get, I, I, I do a phone call or whatever. And I call my girl. And um, she tells me that my brother was actually trying to holler at her. That's all they, that, that was said. So I told, I said, damn, what the fuck? And my head in there too, I, I'm not thinking like mad, I'm just like 
I'm thinking my girl's loyal, and I'm like, bro, my girl's like, nah, she's not gonna fuck, fuck with him. I'm like, all right, bet. Fucking long story short, bro. I get out of jail, and I get a phone call, and it's my bro. And I answer, I'm like, what's up, bro? Your boy out. I'm all happy, right? It's my first day out, bro. I'm happy as fuck. Swear. Mood changed from this to... I swear to God. This is what happened, bro. This is what happened. I fucking get this phone call. I'm on the balcony and my girl's gone. So that's when I get this phone call. It's so weird. And then, like, I get this phone call and it's my bro. And he's all like, hey, bro. He's like, I'm fucking sorry, bro. He's, like, really, really, like, apologizing and all that stuff, right? I'm like... For what, bro? What's up? And it started scaring me because this nigga was getting deep into, like, apology. I'm like, damn, this nigga, what the fuck did this nigga do? And first, you know, I thought about what he, what they were saying. It's just a lot of shit. And basically, he told me, he broke down, told me that it don't matter who made the first move. But she still, she still fucked me. And, no, you know what I mean. They still fuck. And, um... I was like, damn, and he just hearing that shit and just like, he's like, bro, I'm I'm not even asking for you to like, uh, fuck with me. I'm not asking for you for like, you know, we could catch the fade and all that, bro. But like, I just want to tell you, I, I I'm sorry, I'm wrong for that shit. I'm like, bro, you good, bro, you good. Low key in my head, I'm like, my my head just fucking blew up. I'm like, damn. My bad, I'm about to spark up right now, guys. My bad. Chip, chip. But I'm just like, damn, okay, so, I, I, of course it, it hurts, you know, like, it hurt me at first. And I'm just telling them you're good, bro, you know, we, we don't gotta, like, I don't, I never could imagine not fucking with my bro. And, it, I don't know, this shit was hard, like, cause then, thoughts of my mind started going through my mind, like, fuck that bitch and fuck my brother. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going through my mind. And, um, I hated it. it that shit's something that, that sucks, you know? But long story short, I got over it. I started chilling with my bro again. We became bros, you know? Well, we're always bros. We're always bros, for sure. Now, I forgave him. Like, she's a fucking hoe. A hoe gonna be a hoe, and you can't change that. If that's how her mama raised her, then that's just what it is. But, like, at the same time, you gotta understand that it's people you affect when you do some whole shit like that. You actually got people that care and love for you that, that was riding you every fucking week. And I wasn't getting shit back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear this shit, man. Y'all know what's up. Like, y'all know the deal with, with this shit. Like, love, if y'all trying to really love, bro, that shit's crucial. I got girls that are married and they're still trying to, you know, fuck with me. And that shit's sad. Think about your fucking husband. What the fuck is you doing? Sorry for all the cussing, but I gotta get this out there. Get this off my chest. So, um, I'm chilling with my brother. We were turning up. We were having a good time. I just got out of jail. You know, everything was swift and good. Uh, you know, I was back. Now I just had to make a plan because I came out of jail. They took my car. It was gone. They took, everything was gone. I had to start from scratch again. So basically what ended up happening was I got on my grind but it, it took time and honestly I'm finna spark up. <laughs> Hold up guys. Alright you guys we're back. Got it sparked up. So anyway I was just <coughs> in a point in my life where I was like Fuck, <coughs> fuck love, all that. <coughs> Y'all see, I don't have a girlfriend now, and that's because love is dangerous. Like, love hurts, and love really scars you. If that makes any sense. But I, 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 overall, I was chilling with my bro one day, and we were just doing this like every other day. We'll just link up, we'll all chill, we'll all match. Y'all know how it is. I'm in the sun, it's really hot, I don't care. So basically what ended up happening was they're getting drunk one day and he's always driving drunk but I didn't really see him this drunk before. So homie, 
Homie gets all drunk. Everybody's just having a good time. We pull up to Homie E's house and we start smoking or whatever. And um, basically, we had to go to a trip to Sea Road. So we're going to Sea Road. Don't ask no questions. A glass. So we're going to Sea World. And that's when um, we pulled over to the gas station. But homie said that he was swerving. And I thought he was doing that to play around. And he said he was doing, my brother said he was doing that to play around, which was the swerving. And so I thought he was playing too. I thought he was joking. But homie E told me, no, bro, he's not playing. He's actually for real. Like, he's he almost crashed, bro. Like, I'm like, damn, okay. And I'm thinking homie E's just like, He's always fucking on some shit. Like, he's always just like, I don't know. But in a good way. So, like, remember I told you about homie E. He was like, oh, let's go, man, let's go. You're going to get me caught up. I was like, all right, man, let's fucking get caught up. And we got caught up because he said, let's go. But anyway, so that's the type of shit he was on. He was like, like, thinking too much, bro. Like, and I'm just like, bro, okay, look. Chill. And he shows me a picture on his phone. He's like, bro, look at this. I was been supposed to have been dead. Homie was driving just like this, and this is what happened. I'm like, damn, chill. I put on my seatbelt right away, and then he gets back in the car, M, my brother. But look, we told him not to drive him. We wouldn't let him get like in the driver's seat when he was trying to get back into the car. So he started getting like mad and frustrated at us, but like we don't have a ride home. Now we're over here by Sea World at a gas station by Sea World. And you're the only ride home. And we got to make sure our ride home is not our ride to, to, to death. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. So we're all like trying to convince him. Brian, his pride is too, too strong. His pride was just saying like, nah, nah, I got this. I'm good. Looking at me like because he knows that these are my homies like more than his homies. And he's like, 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 like he just wasn't, if anything, we would have have to beat him up because we can't let you drive drunk, bro. You, like, if, if, if it was just me versus my homies, me and him versus my homies, I wouldn't do that. I know you're my bro, but you're fighting them for the wrong reason. We doing this because we want to live and we want you to be safe as well. You know what I'm saying? Don't drive drunk. You see the commercials? This is not no fucking joke finna come through all the way right here so basically um we fucking he, he wouldn't let no one drive we decided to let him drive well we had no choice or we'll or walk and um we warned him next thing you know we're having we have the music blasting and everybody's scared as hell like nobody's even talking nobody's doing nothing we're just like sitting there in fucking fear and then out of nowhere, I remember he's on the highway. I think he was going like at least 40 miles per hour. That's it. Thank God it wasn't like 80 or anything like that. But he ends up just doing this. And he just fucking flips the car. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> flips the motherfucking car while we're all in it. That was my first car crash ever. And we were all in that bitch. That shit was crazy. Hold on, I'm about to get back at you. Alright y'all, so at this point we were freaking rolling, flipping in the, in the, in his, it was a Cherokee or something like that. One second, I'm gonna put y'all right here real quick. Get my seatbelt on this shit. So it was like a Cherokee or something like that, right? So it was like a good safety, you know, like it had the metal and all that stuff. So, long story short, um... We, we stopped rolling, we landed face face up or whatever, you know, and then like I look to the right, I get out the car ASAP. I do not want to stay in the car after our car accident, you don't know what's going to happen. I, it was my first car accident, so I was thinking, you know, cars blow up and shit, so I fucking ran. I didn't even look back. I look back and then my homies are still in, like trying to get out, they get out, whatever. I didn't, I wasn't thinking, I just, I thought everybody, everybody did run, we all fucking ran, but like, um... Not them to the left of us was the highway to the right of us was the hill if we fell down that hill we would have not survived you know and at this point my why well, that when when we were rolling like my whole life flashed in front of my eyes like it was kind of crazy and i was just thinking about all the bad stuff that i did all the good stuff that i did and it was kind of like a crazy 
life lesson experience. At the same time, I lost my brother. So I, um, we're running across this highway, and then my bro's in the back, and then he's just like, "Hey, bro, hey, bro, I just lost a whip." And homie left his phone, and another homie left his ID and his wallet, money. Um, you know, bud fucking flew everywhere. All I knew is I had a blunt in my hand and I was still running and we're running across this highway. It was that was a pretty scary experience right there. Running across the highway with the speeding cars. And we were on like um I ten or something. Like it was fucking they were going 60, 70, you know what I'm saying? They're going pretty fast and it was nighttime, so it was like scary as hell. But anyway, we all like my adrenaline or whatever, it was going so I didn't feel no pain at first. And none of my homies did either. Well, I didn't really ask him, but we were like good. Uh, one of the homies was limping, but he said he was good. And I'm like, we're like, bet, bet. And then, um, at this point, we're all like, F you to my brother. Like, that's the last time we're hanging out with you, yada, yada. Or that's what one homie said. And he really didn't even care. He was still like drunk and just talking to himself. Like, it was, it was a pretty sad moment for, for my bro and me because... You could have took all our lives that day. It's it's one thing if you take your own life, but if you take four other lives with you, we all have separate families and we all have people that care for us as much as you do, bro. And you would have killed all of us because what? You're driving drunk. And we told you. It's not as easy as the commercials seem. People got pride. And sh we should have just walked from the get-go. But that was our lesson learned. Now I know if someone's drunk and I know they're drunk, I, I I can't I can't be in that car. I have too much to live for at this moment. But um So I was thinking I'm gonna get an apology back. But I didn't get no apology. I didn't get nothing from him. I didn't get a phone call from him. He disconnected his number. Everything was just trash and I'm just like in a position where it was over, like like if he wanted to be ghost and die that day. Then, God dang it. You see the motherfucking flies, bro. I swear. If he wanted to be ghost and, and die that day, then I'm gonna let it be like that. That's that's how my brother died in the car accident. We could reunite, maybe, you know, get jiggy, smoke a blunt, and, and not talk it out. We could talk it out, but like at the same time, we could do it like a sport. Like we could put some boxing gloves on and we could just box it out like, like real homies do, you know what I'm saying? But, um,. Yeah, I just don't, like, that's just for not saying you're sorry and shit, you know what I'm saying? We gotta catch them rounds, because that's just on some bullshit. You got, I'm your bro. I'm not, like, a regular homie, my nigga, like, that's just fucked up. I'm your blood bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, I, if we would've all died that day, it would've been crucial. Crucial, crucial. Five teens dead on the news. But anyway, you guys, um, that's why I don't talk to my brother no more. That's why, and you can see the title, that's why he's dead. Um, but honestly, I don't know. It's just, a, it's, a, it's a fucked up story, right? It's a long story, but to this day, like, I forgive everybody. I ain't gonna hold no grudge because I can't see myself getting mad, you know? And, um, I, I, I don't know. Just like, subscribe, comment for more videos. We'll be back at it. I don't know. Weezy Bang Bang!